I can't believe it. Oh my God, I'm flipping. Oh my God. Oh my God. De'Aaron Fox, have you heard of him? He is the biggest wizard in all of the NBA. Better than Harry Potter. I can't, we have a gold. We have a gold. Here it is. How can we encourage new collectors and the younger generation to join our hobby? Comment down down below. I want to have a serious debate. I want to hear s positive suggestions. What I would start with would be box prices need to be lower. And I think people need to be more inviting in the community and make, you know, this an attractive hobby to have. All right. So that's the beginnings from my end, just general stuff. But comment down below. How can we bring new collectors and the younger generation into our hobby that we know and love known as sports cards? Give me some skin. She was the one that came up with that because I was going to ask something else, but that was pretty good. So we're prepping for the 24 hour sale. I'm trying to do something where at every every hour we do something. Like at 5.30 we'll do dollar auctions, 6.30 we'll do $1, 5 $1,000 cards starting at a dollar, 7.30 maybe free pack every 10 minutes, and then we're gonna, we're gonna add some interesting stuff. I'm gonna be doing Pictionary. We have a pinata, show them the pinata. It's a uni. Unicorn. So we're gonna have a unicorn pinata. I don't know where we're gonna put that up. Here we go, 24 hours on whatnot. This is the preparation and the process, and it's gonna be fun. You guys, I'm trying to prep for this 24 hour sale and our neighbors are bumping. I recognize all this music because I'm Persian, so shout out to my dad. The day of the 24 hour sale, they're bumping. I just, whatever. We're trying to figure out how we're gonna get this set up. I've already had, we are, look at this, we already have purchases. Shout out to Big Horse. He purchased a Mike Tyson one of one. He's purchased Charlie Sheen, Bo Jackson, Dale Earnhardt. So he's purchased all these, so we need to figure out where we're gonna put our purchases, where we're gonna put our dollar cards, where we're gonna put the wax and everything else that goes entailed with this. This is all the stuff that's pre-listed. We have top loaders and sleeves. We have our wax. Our story with this is we're gonna put these packs up, you know, priced out at one pack, and then I'm gonna dollar auction them at some point in the night. After watching this after the fact, these have been dollar auctioned off, and hopefully we've pulled the Luca autograph. Look at this. We've already pre-loaded them in these bags. So these team bags, Basically, here's the station. I'm gonna be sitting here. I think for this auction, we're gonna have to move those somewhere else, obviously, but we're gonna have our, our sticky notes here. Basically, since I'm only one man army, if we sell, like I'm gonna be live here, we're gonna have the camera here. My little, my little assistant right here. <laughs> She's gonna, we're gonna clean this up and figure this out. Can't wait for the viewers to just enjoy Persian music with two people down there. <laughs> We're going live for 24 hours. First off, we're rocking the De'Aaron Fox jersey. Shout out to Swipe of the Fox, Sacramento Kings. Going to playoffs this year. 8.30, we're gonna do an Easter egg hunt, which there's some push-ups, there's some weird stuff and fun stuff. 9.30 p.m., we have a dollar hobby box auction, so we're gonna do some dollar hobby boxes. From 10.30, we're gonna do some Pictionary. You're gonna see my art skills and you guys are gonna have to guess for free cards. 11.30, we're gonna do collab videos where we can talk to some of the viewers and bring them on and see what they, see what they think about the hobby and what they're buying. 12.30 a.m. we're gonna do movie and TV soundtracks, which means I will be blasting Star Wars and Harry Potter. And lastly, 1.30 to 12 to 5.30 p.m. Shall I Last will be whatever you guys want. So we're gonna give all this away. We're gonna pack all this out. So we're gonna, gonna rip it all up. So we're gonna do some pack out giveaways. So we're gonna give away some of this Pokemon Brilliant Stars. You can get Charizards in here. We're gonna give those away. We got some Pixar, which is super, super interesting. We got F1, so we're packing all this out. For our, give or for our giveaways and just for fun. We wanna have some fun on here. You know, at the end of the day, if you guys are on Whatnot, you can check me out. You know that we're not just selling cards, we're having a good time, giving you a good experience. And that's what we're trying to do. So we're gonna pack all this out, give all this away, some WWE, and we're gonna have a great time. AJ's gonna keep me hydrated and some coffee and caffeine and all the good stuff. Actually makes a little eye blink. And we're gonna get this going, so I can't wait. And if you guys are watching this video, just wanna say thanks for the support as always. And I'm great right now, but we'll see how we do in the next six hours because I'm gonna be exhausted. So here we go. I got 12 hours of sleep. I'm ready to rock. Look at this. We got 806 bookmarks for tonight. I'm in shock. This is such a cool feature. So I'm not messing around. I didn't even know you can make offers on whatnot. So I'm just learning this, but look, we got some offers. So somebody's offered on, ooh, somebody offered 70 bucks on the clay. So I will take that. It was in a bulk deal that I did and I paid 50, so People always ask about if I'm making money, that was a $20 profit, but it was on a bulk deal. So 20 bucks profit, I'll take that. I probably could have countered, but I asked 100, pretty fair. 
And then just running through here, some of the offers. So somebody's offered me 1,190 on my Messi. That's a little low for me because I have over that into the card. So transparency, I bought the card, I believe on camera, I think it was 1350 or 1450, whatever it was, but I countered 1500 on it. So look at this, I have an offer for a Crown Royale box. He just offered 60, which is pretty good because they go for around 60, so I will accept that. 12 bucks on this, the Chris Shaw, so I can take that. I'm hoping we have enough cards at this point. See, we sold, we've been selling stuff before the show. We are officially live. We're in, we're in, we're in. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I fly. We pulled a Lewis Hamilton one of one. I can't breathe. I just pulled a Lewis Hamilton one of one on whatnot at 24 hour stream. I'm in shock, I can't even talk. We pulled a one of one Lewis Hamilton. You've gotta be kidding me, look at, I gotta read the reactions. <laughs> they said put it down, breathe, sleeve, sleeve it. <laughs> I held it in my hand, don't worry. I cannot believe it. I am in shock. The Luca packs, I just slipped the steel, the seal on the $5,000 box and look at, this. look at this. I have not had any caffeine yet. Everyone keeps asking me how many Red Bulls and how much caffeine. I have had none yet. We're gonna pack this out. It's right there. And we're gonna run this Tiger Woods card at $1. Here it is, Tiger Woods, hole number four autograph. And it's up, Tiger Woods autograph, not on card. This is a sticker autograph of Tiger. We are going here. We started it at $1 and it is rolling. It's at $177, geez. Oh, he almost got it for 550. Dude, anything below a thousand on this is a steal. Oh, he won it for 600. That is a steal, that's an easy profit. It's a steal, major league access, great buy. We're gonna, we're gonna auction one pack of Luca. One Luca Doncic pack. This box costs between four and five thousand dollars. Here we go. We have the Luca Doncic pack. It's gonna go for a dollar. Here we go. Luca rookie year. This is the fresh box. We have not pulled anything. There he is, Philly Freak 93. Tell me when you're ready. This is gonna be crazy. These packs are valued at 400 each. Oh snap! Do you see that? We got some color. Here we go. Javon Carter. You don't see a lot of this ripped. Chris Dunn, Joe Ingles, Nikola Vucevic, David Robin Robinson, Silver Jeff Green, Anthony Davis, Kevin Huerter, Red Velvet, I'm wearing the Kings jersey, let's go. Mikal Bridges, somebody called it, wow, great call. And Frank Ntilikina. We're looking for the Luca freaking auto. If we pull a Luca auto, I'm gonna find a pool and I will jump in it. Got two autos left, let's do this. Come on. Oh, we got red. Look at that. We got color. All right, Marshawn Brooks, Eric Gordon, Zach Collins, Donza Musa, Goran Dragic, and we got a red. Dwayne Dedman, and we have a rookie, sorry. Aaron Holiday. Just broke this WWE box, check this out. Pulled the rock red. We pulled a Rakishi auto. And then this was really cool. Pulled the great Kali. Sam Howell, QB1. What do you guys think of him? We pulled a Jake Ferguson auto. Dak Prescott numbered. Tom Brady orange out of 99. Desmond Ritter cracked ice out of 50. Contours Brock Lesnar. Malik Willis, Malik Willis and a swatch is Sky Moore out of 50. We're gonna pick trivia winners here. Everyone knows that Michael Jordan played his college ball at North Carolina, get ready. But playing for the Tar Heels wasn't his first choice. Who did Michael Jordan originally wanna play for? Go. Okay, the correct answer is UCLA. And it is Pro AGB. I grew up with him. No. <laughs> Alan, you won a DeMontis Sabonis Orange, Ken Griffey Jr. Ken Griffey Jr., Ken Griffey Jr., and Ken Griffey Jr. Ha, huh, your mom's in here. Yeah. All right, shout I'm out not. to Tonya. <laughs> shout out to Tonya Guerrero, she gave us the help. All right, the dimples on a golf ball give, give in traction on the terrain. How many dimples does the average golf ball have? 336 was the answer. Well, That's a good question, right? Who holds the hot dog eating competition championship title with how many dog hot dogs eaten? Go. L.L. Evans. The answer is 76 and it's Joey Chestnut. L.L. Evans. Gold out of 10, Alex Smith, true gold. In what year 
Did Serena Williams win her first slam and what tournament was it in? Jay Flight, he got 1999. He said is open, but that's US Open. Okay, Jay Flight, you've won. Jason Tatum Green. Oh my God, this question is ridiculous. There are a number of human mascots in college sports, but there's only one human mascot in all four major North American sports. Name the mascot. What's the name of the mascot and what team? Oh, Ronnie, Ronnie got it. Ronnie, what is his username? Ronnie B. It's Vikings Ragnar. Who's your favorite WNBA player and why? I mean, I like Tarasi. Dijanae, she's dope. John Quell Jones, one of the dopest players in the WNBA. If you know, you know. Go. She's a natural. Ooh, this one's nice. Cappy Poindexter, yep. Blue Anniversary, good hit. Ooh, another one, Ogumike. That's sick. Yes. We pulled her blue out of 25. Or no, her black out of 25. There you go. Tina Charles, another legend. It's your first time ripping. How do you Griffin feel right now? Griffin Shepard, Ogun Bowale. How do you feel so far? Nice. Yeah, I like it. Amy Atwell Orange from the Sparks. Should be the one after. Hey, Brittany Griner. That's a big one. That one's nice. Okay. <gasps> Is this our auto? Yeah, Augustus. Hey, that's nice. Luca, come on, let's get a Luca. Oh no. No way. No. No way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't. I can't, we have a gold. I'm gonna scream. Ersan Eliasova, TJ Leaf, try to keep these cards together. Oh my gosh. Marvin Bagley, Robert Williams, Bam out of Bayou. Here it is. We have a gold, we're gonna do it. Jabari Parker, gold out of 10. Oh my gosh. Wow, I thought it was something. I thought I saw it, who it was. Oh my gosh. That's still cool. I thought it was Shea Gilgis Alexander. I love breaking, man. Again, that's so fun. Oof, look at this. Look at this packaging. I mean, it's just beautiful. It's, it's nice. It makes you feel good. Look at that, feel that. Oof. Okay. Nikita Lyons, rookie. Careful. Oh, Bobby Lashley napkin out of 99. Look at that. 73 out of 99. Beautiful. Next card. Oh, AJ Styles. Look at this. Oof. Wow. Dolph Ziggler, five out of five. Look at that patch. Wow, look at that. It's nasty. Kevin Owens, notable nicknames auto. That's sick. Nickname is Otto, Kevin Owens. That's the notable nicknames, KO. Those are sick, these are super, in NBA, these are so rare. And then lastly, Carmelo Anthony, Melo. Just kidding, Carmelo Hayes. 16 out of 99. So she set me up on a truth or dare. Hi. And what time is it? Oh gosh, it's 12.07. 12.07 in the morning right now. We did all these orders. And now I'm gonna play truth or dare with these Easter eggs that she hid. That looks like a real trap. There's marshmallows and there's hot sauce. Why is there hot sauce over there? <laughs> Who puts hot sauce and marshmallows in the corner <laughs> of a house? I that doesn't look I right. should have hid that. That looks terrible. Oh, man. That doesn't look right. That yellow egg looks like oh, a curse. I think that's the one. You, are you taking eggs too? No, no, no. Oh no, my no, no. gosh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what is that? What cucumber. is this? It's the frozen cucumber. All right. Okay, so the frozen cucumber, it was actually rotten. When I arrived here in LA, it was mushy and it was like spotted and I was super grossed out and I didn't want to put it in the trash immediately. So I just said, you know what? Just throw it in the freezer first and then we'll get to it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Here we go, first egg. Welcome to Whatnot. This is the Easter egg challenge. My name is Mojo Knoxville. Do not try this at home. Oh, there's two notes. One okay. for me, no, 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 one no, for no. you. No, 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 you pick one. What Look what it says. I talk about Davis Mills. Davis Mills lost me probably $1,000. I bought wax to break one time. This is a really sad story. This is why I don't like breaking. I spent $12,000 on wax one time and we made $5,000. I lost over $7,000 breaking sports cards. And it was when we were starting and I was trying to figure it out. It was a huge mistake. And then on a single card, it would either be players. Davis Mills, Trey Lance lost me a couple, like maybe $1,000. Oh, I bought a Bruce Brown gold autograph 10. 
uh, gold Prism Auto. I thought he was good for some reason. I spent $337 and I checked the last comp and the last comp was $60 and I own it still. She is planning something. Here's my toy collection. Found this one. Okay. I hope it's another truth. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's a dare. Drink a glass of water while balancing on one foot. That's pretty easy. Well, I mean, let's see. I don't think you have very good balance. Wow, you're doubting my flexibility. That's I what mean, you what do you guys think? I don't think he has good balance. Balance on one foot with water. One minute for every King's Championship. Oh my God, you can't say <laughs> that. Can he do it? Wait, why can't I do this? 26 more seconds. <laughs> I wish they were playing that Arabian music still. <laughs> All right, that was an epic fail. I can't ride a skateboard, I'm gonna be honest. All right. Why is your community so important to you and each other? Because I love them. Tell them. Uh, because I love sports cards and it brings us all together and I think it's important for all of us to, I don't know, it's something bigger than cards. You know, cards are the vehicle for all of us to just like get to know each other and find out I can't, I bal I can't balance and, I don't know, we all come from different wakes of life and I think that's important that we can all like, you know, revel in the community unified aspect of collecting sports cards. That's probably the main one. Three reasons, okay. Second, it's cool to see other people, you know, experience joy through collecting or getting their favorite card or, you know, talking, telling a story about, you know, meeting their favorite player or cards and stuff like that. I just think feeling a part of, I mean, feeling a part of is just, it's probably a repeat of number one, but I just like the feeling of feeling a part of something and, I think it's just a great community. Oh my gosh! What I, the heck was that? I threw it against the wall. What's one movie that you love and it could be a bit embarrassing? You know what it is. Uh, I think his movie, the answer to this question is 30, or 13 going on 30, am I right? She's right, 13 yes. going on 30. Yes. It's one of my favorite movies. Razzles, all the stuff, Jenner Gardner. Mark Ruffalo, 13 going on 30. Dare, hold a wall sit for 45 seconds to tell us about your favorite WNBA player. Mm -hmm. Look at those arms crossed. Women with mm -hmm. attitude. Lisa Leslie, she can dunk the ball. She's one of the goats. She's also a commentator. She's done things beyond basketball, which I can't name right now because my legs are on fire. Mm -hmm. But she, I don't know, she set the game up. Can I talk about other players? We have 30 seconds. Candace Parker, Skylar Diggins Smith went to Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. The Sacramento Monarchs won in 2002, and then they sold the team and that's it. So the Sacramento Monarchs don't exist, even though they've, they're the only Sacramento team that's won a championship. And the WNBA is not my favorite sport, to be honest with you, but I respect people that like it. And it's just like somebody that collects F1. I don't do F1, but I think it's cool when people collect it. So I think that's the same way you should think about women's sports. The gal who just got pre uh, got married. Oh my God. Saved by the pregnancy. I found another one. 12 at night. He found what are you filming right now? I'm filming you. Are you filming people filming people? Ugh. I love taking videos of people who are taking videos of me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is unbelievable. What is it? Just let them read. Fit 21 marshmallows in your mouth and sing along to Rich Flex. All right, let's bring, bring them over. Oh, I love this smell of marshmallows. Am I doing this? We are doing this right now. Right. Start going. Do we have a medic? Okay, you ready? Do I have to swallow them? No, you just okay. stuff them. You count. One, two, two. There's a no chance. Yeah. You know what? Let's play the uh <laughs> Where are we at now? 21? A 10! He's gonna throw up! Go! They're saying go! Go! Keep going! Do not stop! Tickle him! 12! Tony Bunny! He's gonna march below! Alright, he won't stop! 21! <laughs> <laughs> um, I would eat dinner with Kobe Bryant because he inspired me. I'd eat dinner with my sister because I loved her and she, I miss her. It's time oh, to have some gummies, guys. It's gosh. over. I'm done. That marshmallow challenge wrecked me. Let me oh see what they no, say. Mojo, no. You guys know what melatonin is? <laughs> melatonin. Anything over there? No. Nothing over there. Okay. What about in there? No. Mm -mm. Nothing what over there. Oh, I found it. Oh, he found one. Wow. Hey, truth. Truth. Who is your celebrity crush and why? 
Selena Gomez or Kim Kardashian because I have a type. Hmm. They said, don't do a mojo, you're getting set up. Better watch your answer. It looks like her. <laughs> it looks like you. Oh. Talk to us in a British accent for 30 seconds telling us why the Kings will make the playoffs. The Sacramento Kings are the greatest team in the world. The reason why is they know how to play basketball better than any other team out there. De'Aaron Fox, have you heard of him? He is the biggest wizard in all of the NBA. The way he moves the ball with like a magician. He's better, better than Harry Potter. And let me tell you, bloody hell, the Sacramento Kings are the team to beat. And they will be making the playoffs. And I will see you there in two weeks. And if I'm not there, then you can take me out to dinner. <laughs> At Olive Garden. It's a little cup of jelly. It tastes like Sephora. I'm not gonna say it. I'm just gonna do it. Just do it. <laughs> Why didn't you do this at the Golden Booth in Dallas? Ha ha ha! It's on Sasha T. <laughs> Sasha, come over. Oh, oh my gosh. Shit. All right. If you could give Sasha T a new first name, what is it? Blank T. And what about. Kenneth, oh, Fornos, oh my gosh, that's good. I'd call Sasha McLovin. <laughs> and then Fornos, I'd call him, I'd call him Ricardo. Okay. And then I'll be card collector three. Eat one teaspoon of hot sauce. Tablespoon! So this is what it was, everybody. Listen. Cholula. I'm sure there are better hot sauces out there, but this is what we were working with today. I have one thing to say before I do this. Yes. Melamo Mojito. <laughs> this is the third time I'm gonna cry on camera. <laughs> this is drama, not content. James Harden. Oh, we have an auto. <gasps> no, we don't. What do we have? All right, I'm just gonna flip because I can't see. Oh, Jacob Evans autograph. Jacob Evans autograph and a Tony Parker hyper. He got the auto. He got the auto. I can feel it. I think that's the auto. Evan Turner, Hassan Whiteside, Thaddeus Young got a silver, Larry Nance. Should I just flip it? Let's flip it. Donovan Mitchell. Oh, Donza Musa. Muka rookie! Oh, oh shit! Oh my god, what a plot twist! I know it's not that crazy now, but shoot. <laughs> that was crazy. Luca rookie. Oh my. We got I can't wait to watch this video over. That was unbelievable. We went from Don Zamusa to Luca. This card shaped so much of sports cards. This jaw and Zion. The modern market. And it's centered. This card shaped cards. This was a fifteen hundred dollar to two thousand dollar PSA ten at one point. I used to buy this card for 1200 and sell it for 1500 It's 300 to 500 now. Oh, he got a purple cracked ice. Is it a rookie? Oh, it's a rookie. We have a rookie. Zaza Pachulia. Cracked ice. Lonnie Walker. Out of 149, that's actually pretty nice. And then last pack, here we go, good luck. We'll take this one slow. You guys, here we go, this is it. The end of the prism. Was this worth $5,000? You tell me. DJ Augustine, James Johnson, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Will Barton, Danny Greensilver, Blake Griffin, Red, Manu Ginobili, not numbered, base and base. All right, that is all she wrote on Prism. If I could buy that box, let me see the reactions. What are your reactions, guys? Tell YouTube. What did you guys think? They're saying no. But it was fun. We split up the packs. He got a great deal, 340. That was a great deal. 10 a.m. We got Panini one here. Oh shoot. This is it. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm nervous. Get ready, get ready. Here we go. <gasps> Who is it? Oh. Chuba Hubbard. Oh my gosh. You got a good autograph on the back. That's all I'm gonna say. AJ Styles. Look how cool. I love the look of that. The patch. Boom. I know that name. Alexa Bliss. Three out of 25. On card autograph for the win. Look at that. 
5 a.m. breaks for the win. You guys, I'm clocking out. 14 and a half hours, 14 hours. We ended the night. I'll never forget this. My first one of one I've ever pulled. And you know what's great? It's not my card, but I know the feeling. And I will never forget this. I have so much joy for him, but also just such a cool pull. Never pulled something like this before. So huge Lewis Hamilton, one of one. Made history. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, use my codes for whatnot, Zion cases, Mojo 10, all that good stuff. And appreciate all you guys.